Good morning, good morning! Day two of Conway in Wales. We're actually at Tynyd, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I apologise for that. Uh, we've had our breakfast in the guest house. Uh, I should have said that I don't eat meat, because she gave me like a sausage and bacon. Um, so, uh, boyfriend had that. Um, so now we're off to Bodenant Gardens, which is obviously uh, gardens. Uh, we're going to take Alfie with us, of course, we can't leave him here. Uh, let's go! So we're driving back towards the bridge. This seems to be the highlight of our day now. Getting across this bridge. Because we're right next to Snowdonia, so like to the left, it's all pretty much hills and mountains. And it's the only way across. Did that mean stop or go? Oh, hang on, it's Amber. That means somebody's coming, wait. Turn left onto Bridge Street. I know, we will wait. Shall we turn? Oh no, Amber again. You see, this side's easier. There's lights here, but there's no lights on the other side. Go and have a look. Now this is what you call a garden. Wow. So this is Bodnant Gardens. Look how tidy it is and like there's no weeds. <laughs> so this is Bodnant Gardens. It's absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Ah, well worth a visit. So this is uh, the map. So we've got terraces, pin mill, old mill, the poem, waterfall bridge, boathouse, Lady Abba Conway's seat. It's big, in it? You saying hello? There are eight miles of paths to explore around the garden. Eight miles? I know I fancied a walk, but wow. There are three different refreshment options in the garden. The pavilion serves food. Magnolia Garden Centre's got hot drinks and cakes. And the Dell kiosk within the garden at point four serves savoury, savoury and sweet options and ice cream. So I think it's important to mention the price of the dog poo bags that I just bought. It seems to be that I keep getting stung. £45 for parking in London and now it's going to cost me, well it has cost me, £5.99 for compostable poo bags. You get 60 in it so that's a fair amount but £6? Eighteen seventy six that tree was planted. Jenny Jenny <laughs> Forest Jenny Isn't it gorgeous. Could have my studio in here, what do you think? That could be my studio, that window up there. Look at the size of those plants. La 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 It's Jurassic Park There we go So I think I might be a little bit more famous than I realised I don't think I'm famous but I just got recognised like in this gorgeous gardens by one of the servers he said he'd see me on TikTok do TikTok TikTok doing happier than ever by Billie Eilish. So yeah, we've stopped for a sandwich and a sausage roll. <laughs> I'm really shattered now. It's eight miles of gardens. I've not done the eight miles but I think my body feels like it. Oh my goodness, I bought a fridge magnet and a bracelet. 
amethyst which is my birthstone birth sign stone yeah. so now i need some rest so we are now in the car park of conwy beach which is only 15 minutes from the bodnant gardens uh we shall show the round in a minute we're just having five So as you can see I'm a little bit windswept, swept, swept, windswept and we're walking back to the car now from Conway Beach. It's gorgeous here, Alfie's had the best time. Uh, I didn't think he'd go in the water but he kind of paddled a little bit. He doesn't really swim yet uh, but he seems more settled on the beach now from last time. So we're back in the room now, we've just had the most gorgeous meal from the Fairy Falls, which is literally next door, uh, a sort of pub style restaurant sat outside and it was absolutely lovely. I had tuna melt uh, and he had a, a barbecue pulled pork with chicken burger, which would just look fabulous. Uh, and it was really tasty. As we were walking back, we took Alfie for a little walk round. Uh, I saw Robin literally flew, flew right in front of my face on top of a sign and then flew off again. Now I've been told, and I'm not sure this is the case, but I'm hoping so. I've been told that Robins are particularly spiritual and it's the sign of someone who's passed away coming to see you. Uh, and that's the third Robin I've seen now in the space of a week. Uh, I saw one. Uh, at the garden centre which you will recall on one of my other vlogs then me and Alex saw a robin at the tube station in London uh, and just now I've seen another robin and it vanished it's the craziest thing I'm either losing my mind but I don't think so it definitely flew right in front of me onto the top of a sign and then flew off again into a bush and I looked in the bush and it was gone it was just the cutest thing wow so yeah, it's just made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside to know that, you know, it, it potentially it's something lovely. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling out in the room now. Tomorrow is Landudno, which is our last day on our little Wales holiday. Um, I suggested Landudno because we've kind of got to go past it to get back to Yorkshire from where we are we're very close to the snowdonia national park um just a little bit further down the map this is my great geography skills a little bit further down the map from conway then landudno is above that so we're going to do landudno tomorrow uh so yes yeah, stay with me ah uh, good morning it's the last day of our trip we're outside a mill shop uh, it's gorgeous. There's lots of angora wool and there's weaving machines and even up in the shed up there is the blending shed where if I just move around I don't know if you can see it where they uh, colour the wool and stuff. It's very cute. So I'm in the car. Uh, we're at Landudno or rather Landudno now and I'm just looking up this hill. We've gone past the Grand Hotel driven all the way around the front it's beautiful we thought we'd just have a drive of the area first well i did and i'm looking at this thing on the hill now i think it's some kind of cable car thing because you can see one go past every so often but it really does look wobbly i'd be really worried if there it goes i'd be really worried in one of those look at it swinging about yeah, you're all right. I think uh, I'll miss out on that one. Well, I made it home 
from land Dudno, it was a lovely city but you know when you just get to a point where you think I've had enough I'm gonna go home now I kind of felt like that so it took me two and a half hours to drive home it wasn't that bad it took us four hours to get there two and a half back but let me show you what I found when I get home there's two feathers in the pond which is just lovely makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside so I'm gonna unpack the bags and all that kind of stuff I hope you've enjoyed I hope I hope you've enjoyed this vlog found it interesting and maybe you want to visit Wales because it was fabulous and I'll see you in the next one bye love <laughs>